Hi everyone, this is Monica from Redefining Mom, and we're going to talk about call to action buttons and how to create them in Canva. A popular question I get is, how do I make my call to action buttons on my sales pages? Now, right here, I'm on my ebook sales page for Busy Moms Building, and this is a lead page. So leadpages.net is what I use to create my landing pages. I talk more about this in step 12. However, I can quickly show you a hack on how to do this without paying for lead pages. So this is a this is a call to action button right here. The buy the buy now button is a call to action button. As I scroll down, you're going to notice I have a few more. Here's one. Send me my sample chapter is a call to action button. And then of course, when we get down to the bottom, I have call to action buttons under each package. Now I had someone recently asked me. They said they didn't have lead pages, they said they use Canva, and they use WordPress. And, and how exactly would they go about creating a button that's similar to this without paying for lead pages? Well, the answer is simple. You go over to canva.com. So I'm gonna use custom dimensions, 500 by 250. When I get into the design, I'm going to go to Elements, Shapes, and for this purpose, I'm going to choose this, this box with rounded edges. Now, up here, I have different colors. I, I have my color palette because I pay for Canva for work. Canva for work, I believe, is $12.95 a month, and that lets me have my color palette here. If you want the free version, um, you could add your colors. Uh, using your hex codes here, but you'd have to add it every time. Now, I'm going to make my call to action button this color. I'm going to make it the whole length of my canvas. And I want this call to action button to say, by now. So I'm going to add my text. And I want it to be white and bold, and I want it to be bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna center it. From here, I am going to make sure that they're all sa that it's saved, which it's all saved. Now I'm gonna download this for our sake, and I do recommend this, but you do need Canva for work for this, on um, the, the PNG file type, I would select transparent background, and that's gonna make the white behind here transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this file. Now after I've downloaded the image, I'm gonna head on over to my WordPress dashboard, and I am going to select new post and add media. From here, I'm going to upload the file. You can change the description, the title, the caption, the alter alternative text if you'd like. For this instance, I'm not going to, but I always suggest that you have your keyword, your SEO keyword in your alt text. I'm going to insert this into the post. And as you can see, I now have a buy now button that looks a lot like what I would have on my lead page, so let's compare this to my first buy, buy now button. See, that looks remarkably similar, except I don't need lead pages to create it. Now from here, what I would do is, uh, when I'm clicked on the image, I click this little pencil, takes me to edit. I would scroll here to link to, select custom URL, and in custom URL, instead of it linking to the image file, I would have this link to uh, the shopping cart. So I use Send Owl, so I would put my Send Owl shopping cart in here and click update. And then when someone is looking at this uh, article, when they click buy now, it's going to go to your Send Owl cart. So I've just showed you how to create a button in Canva, upload it into WordPress, and then go ahead and link it to whatever your call to action is, whether that's a shopping cart or a sign up form, whatever it is you want to link your call to action to, you can go ahead and do that uh, right from your WordPress dashboard.